Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Is okay. In the event of a full uh, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one. God bless you all. Hey, Carly. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. All right, then. We don't need to talk about it. Thanks. There's nothing I can do now, anyway. Hey there. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Jesus Christ. 
Glenn? Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. on the other side of that car. your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble of rain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking.
I hope that girl's okay. This pick is the prime walker killer. They should be able to take those guys out when they come around the corner of the RV. You guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell. Okay, we'll be right behind you. In there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no 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 please. she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in you might want to break through that board first Get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Come with us. We will find you some help. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please! 
This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up. Please! Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Let's get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Not now. All right. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are going to rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? People can't be given up. This will pass. I'm with you. I'm glad to hear it. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. You all right, Lee? I'm okay. Thanks.
story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Can't reach that brick. the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? You were there. You would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of them.
There we go. Holy crap! Run! Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Then I should know. Shit. Oh, shit. Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit. Okay, then. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Give it time. Did you find anything? Nothing. Oh, wait. The window is screwed. Go.
letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Did you check the glove box? You never pay attention to where you leave things. Oh, can you just look over it? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Tell me how hard it is to keep track of things. It's not like we have much to begin with. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did? Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. Thanks, kid. You got it. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it earlier. You never pay attention to where you leave things. It was so awesome. And he had a sweet oh, Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be How you doing, Carmen? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? 
He wasn't, and you just oh, woke up. and then? Hey, Doc, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Uh, let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Who fucked with us? Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them!